Alright, welcome back to Kirby Robot Wars. We are doing more of Overload Ocean. Let us away into this one's big screw tower. Most of it's underwater. Fortunately, that doesn't translate into gameplay as much as it could have done. So we should be fine. When, when Kirby's on the surface of the water, he gets this little floaty device. It's a little hard to see because of the angle they've chosen for this, so I'm not the best time to point it out. That's fine. In we go! Good! This one is where things scroll automatically because of these fun gears, which is just fine. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this when it shows up in games. Ow! Ninja Kirby is also here. Ninja Kirby is a fun time. I can't really stop to explain it. I'm just going to have to do it on the move because this game decides I need to hurry along. Last episode wasn't fast enough. I gotta, gotta go faster. Ninja is a interesting ability. It's kind of fun. I enjoy it a lot. Mainly excels in just fighting things, slashing things up. It's got a really good dash attack that's real fun. Got smoke things, got whatever this is. Warp star, no warp star, warp star. A little kunai's. It's a uh, main gimmick is a little bit weird, and I can't demonstrate it right now, so I don't know why I brought it up. Yeah, no, there you go. Never mind. Let's talk about ninja another time. Ah, <sighs> everyone having a good day? Everyone, I don't know, still sane? I'm not really sure what level of quarantine blues we'll be at by the time this video finally gets uh, uploaded. Don't go through that one. But at the uh, point of me recording this, we're about, what, like four or five weeks in? I'm like, nothing, nothing, nothing major, nothing like super bad has happened except for a death toll. But like, I don't know. We're, we're going. We're doing it. It's plugging along. It's still going to be a long time yet. We're going a, li a little bit of cabin fever, maybe. <laughs> but it's fine. At least I'm not a doctor or a teacher. <laughs> Gotten to that point in my relationship with my family where interactions have gotten a little bit snippier. We're at the uh, we're at the level where we're leaving passive aggressive notes for each other around the house, which is a bad sign maybe for the general wellness of our whatever, it's fine. My sister has started doing yoga and making avocado into smoothies, so I can only assume she's lost her mind already. A shame. To have her claimed by it so early, but that's fine. <laughs> Just bring this into the background because we're gonna need it for step stool and breaking this and a rare sticker. Tight. Let's get out of here. We can't stand on it and put it into the background, unfortunately. But that's fine. What do we got here? Out of my way. Open up. There we go. And then... There! And then bring that over here. That's that's a pretty neat use of the 3D function, I think. That's pretty nice. It's like a no-brain... It's not like it's simple. You're not gonna like go, Oh, what do I do? It's just like a... <laughs> fun, little, fun little use of it that they decided to use. Get out of here. I've been... Not particularly productive, I gotta say. And, you know, in a bit of a slump, I think a lot of people are, because, you know, you can't really go to work. Well, unless you're... It's fine. So I have been impulse buying video games off eShop to tide me over. Which is, uh, maybe not the smartest idea I've ever had. I bought Wargroove, which is a strategy game in the style of Advance Wars. And I enjoyed that until it got difficult. I then bought Civilization VI while it was on offer, which was good because that thing is expensive. Hey. 
and also uh, bought and tried to play Cuphead. I'm still working through Cuphead, which is shorthand for I hate everything and I'm angry all the time now. It's fine, Cuphead is fine, but some of the stuff it tries to pull on you, I do not appreciate. I'll get through it eventually. What do we got here? A perfect is what we got. That's... alright! Give me all that money that's useless to me. Because I'm not going to keep any of my lives. Scully! From Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Curvy Mass Attack. People of the Sky. Little minor characters from Kirby Triple Deluxe that appeared at the very end and was like, yeah, no, we've been relevant the whole time. It's fine. What do we got? Uh, Kirby Gear. Really selling me on the gear thing. I might try and I might get back to that. DDD Tambourine from DDD's Drum Dash Deluxe. DDD DDD DDD. That's four Ds. That's too many Ds for DDD. But that's fine. Drum Dash was a uh, another side game like the ones we saw last time. But this one was for Triple Deluxe. As evidenced by the use of the word Deluxe. Let us depart to the fourth area. I can't stop. That's enough. <laughs> Ew. Let's go! This is a great level. With wonderful music as well. A theme. Oh, look at this. Ice cream level. With a long overdue ability. Ice Kirby! Ice Kirby's way of doing things is much like Fire Kirby, except your breath freezes things and you can kick them around. Oh, little overzealous there. Ice Kirby I enjoy as a... Mm, need to chill out. I didn't even mean to do that. I just need to... I just need to... Be less eager to kill things. But no, Ice Kirby I especially appreciate aesthetically. Those are the chilies we saw. Last time. I don't know, just making things into ice. You naturally work under ice physics with Ice Kirby, because you skate around like this, which is sometimes more trouble than it's worth, but usually it's fine. Just look out for these gigantic ice cream cones. This is fun and weird and interesting. <laughs> like, I guess this is like the true evidence of the real evil that this robotic overlord company represents. In that they are, I guess what they're doing is they're, what, like, literally harvesting this planet's oceans to make gallons and gallons of ice cream. You can inhale things and spit them out as Ice Kirby too. And then they're just like, taking it off planet, and we don't get to have any of it. Truly the most evil of evil schemes. Oh, Waddleby's. Sorry. I... Again, you can do that invincibility, but honestly, I find it less rewarding than just freezing and shooting people. No! I... Oh! Oh no. Kirby is not really geared towards mercy. You do have to go out of your way to not kill things, things sometimes. Well, I fell again. Oh, we're okay though. Like, what are they? What are, they're just like making this ton, tons of ice cream here, only to immediately just drop it on the floor. I'm not quite sure what the. Oh, I didn't quite understand the perspective. I thought maybe it would land somewhere else. Whoa! Not quite sure what that's in aid of. It sounds like a huge waste and also evil. <laughs> but hey, that's how capitalism do. Go to another place, exploit their resources, bring your stuff you've made back home, and just don't share any of it with them. <laughs> yeah. But, enough of that. 
break these fire blocks, and we shall have secret time. The fun music goes away, which is a real shame. Okay, I can just do this. Ah! Okay, there's the ice physics being a problem. Alright, I'm just gonna take this battery, because this is gonna be a bit of a delicate process. Let's try... This! New move from this game. I just gotta... Well, just gotta... There's the rest, Decker. I don't think there's anything else hidden here, so I'm just not gonna bother. I, quite frankly, discovered this move by accident. It's your regular dash attack, except you hold down. It brings you a little bit further, lets your invincibility last a bit longer, which is real helpful. Kirby did Ice Kirby is great at dealing with large amounts of minor enemies, because you can just freeze them. Less good against bosses, because of, you know, the ice physics. Ice Robe Bobo! He just goes sliding into the boss's hitbox all the time. But no, here we have big ice fans with ice robot, which is nice. Let us away! And also a dash attack, which I performed by accident. Pop that down. If I'd really thought about it, I would have placed the Grumps sticker on the side that's facing the camera more often. There we go. Ah, now here, you gotta go a little fast, because there's little heated areas that are gonna thaw out this snowman over time and eventually destroy him if you don't get through there fast enough. That was pretty standard, it was just to teach you, I guess. I can't jump over him. I can jump over him. Thank you for your useless one-up. Let's go! Music here is very, like, sedate. It's nice. Little ice lollies going in the background. Reminds me of a tropical freeze level. I really enjoy Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze for its level design slash music. Which are the, yeah, just fun and creative stuff. Whoa. Let's see if I can get through here. There we go. Let us away. Okay, uh, ho ho! Go, 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 awkward platforming, we're fine. Just top this guy up again, plunk him down. Red ice cream slammer. Alright, and that was what it was all for, finally! It's three snowmen in and it finally decides to give you something useful in the form of a code cube, but that's alright, let's go! That was the end of the level! That's... yep. Yeah. Ice Kirby looks real nice. Real shiny. <laughs> Fire Lion from Kirby Superstar Ultra. What we got now? Ribbon from Kirby and the Crystal Shards. Kirby 64. The Crystal Shards. It's, yeah, whatever. I'm not quite sure. Wait, what do you name it? Number 8! 50 unique stickers! I wish I could tell you some things about Kirby 64, but I haven't played it. It is quite old. It's from the Nintendo 64, which is the console before my time. Not, I'm not sure. I think we've got the time to do one more, actually. So, let's just knock this fifth one out. There are five levels apiece now instead of four and a boss, which is a little bit disruptive to the order I wanted to play these in, but that's fine. 
And this is the all water level that I was dreading. Ow! Well, there goes ice immediately. That's fine. Where am I going? Ah! It's really awkward to aim this thing. You gotta you got really come out in the right way. Okay, there's something over here. What's this about? Is there anything interesting? Do I, you know something I don't know? No, that was that was nothing. That was just completely nothing. Alright. Ah! The background is nice. But just get... Water Kirby is and by when I say water Kirby I mean Kirby in water, not Kirby with the power of water. Is a little bit of a nightmare, I'll be perfectly frank with you. About these robot sharks. Get out of here. <laughs> what am I looking for? Yeah, there's some secrets in here. I don't want to miss any. This is the last level I want to... There we go. Secret door. This is the last level I want to complete more than once. Okay. Oh. oh. Battery. Just sinking through the water. You thought you had me there. That's fine. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What is this? Some sort of like sunken Atlantis city? Or is this a city that the robot people made? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> it's just, oh, oh, down in the foreground, background. Where are they going? There we go. Can't say I have fun with this. Pew pew. I've run out of things to say. Ah! Ah. No Kirby, let's see what we got. Pardon me. Boss, thought so. Alrighty then. Bonkers. Looking, uh, something, something wrong with your jaw there, buddy? Not quite sure what part of your ingenious robot civilization thought bonkers could be I don't know, just infinitely more improved by just giving him a metal lower jaw but sure, fine who am I to question this advanced civilization? Bonkers is really valuable as an enemy because sure he appears quite often but he is also one of the only sources of one of the best abilities in Kirby, in terms of just general combat, and also one of the rarest, Hammer Kirby. Hammer Kirby has the unique ability to punch down these uh, wooden stakes, which also stone can do, so you just don't tell anyone. And yeah, he has similar moves to Sword, they just do more damage. So one could say it's a straight upgrade, except for the part where it's way rarer. Which is kind of its only shortcoming, realistically. It's a bit of a big one though. It also is an ability that you can use underwater freely, which is very nice. And will make this a whole lot more bearable, being able to attack all around you instead of in four strict directions is a hell of a upgrade. How do I get to that code cube? I, I guess I just need to get into the foreground again somehow. If I can do that. My problem with water levels is they're quite slow in Kirby. Oh, careful. We're fine. Second code cube? Alright, we're not done quite yet. We're getting there though. Got the rest decker. Ah, here'll be it. Now we got a swim race to get rid of this get to this sinking battery before it goes completely out of reach one thing I will say about water levels in Kirby they at least have the capacity to think of some interesting puzzles slash just not even puzzles just like encounters by using the water physics not sure it's Fully worth it though. Here we go! 
Final code Q. Yes. Give me that pineapple. And now we are done so for the episode. Huh, <sighs> that was less painful than it could have been. Uh Yeah, okay. <laughs> I say less painful than it could have been. It's it's fine. Oh, and it was worth it. Ha! <laughs> ah! All right, I'll see you next time.